How many of y'all know that the Lord loves you? Hallelujah. The very God who has your name tattooed in his hand. The very God who has you, you in his memory every single minute. Can you imagine? And that he sent his only begotten son, flesh and blood, here on earth. Oh God, you're so wonderful. But one of the things he wants us to do is to examine ourselves. In 1 Corinthians 28, it says, but let a man examine himself and so let him eat the bread and drink the wine. So we're just going to take a minute to personally evaluate where we are. I think most of us have our hearts softened and that um, are prepared to let the Lord minister us, to us for just a moment. So, that, so just take a minute and we'll do that as Aaron keeps playing softly. If there's, if you can think of anything that's holding you back, holding you back from God's love, please bring that before the Lord now. So on the night that Jesus was betrayed, he um, took the bread and he said, take, eat, this is my body. Did it for our healing. He did it for our sustenance to remind us every single day that he is the one. We take this bread. Thank you, Jesus. And likewise, after supper, he took the cup. And after he had given thanks, he said, This is the cup of the new covenant. In my blood, do this as often as you drink it in remembrance of me. drink the, the wine and eat the bread we're bringing Jesus even more closely than on the outside we're bringing him to the inside of our, of our very being he wants you to know that he is part of you we are the body of Christ and we can make a difference we are his hands and feet. And we just thank him for the opportunity to serve him. Because the blessing in your life is serving him. That is what we need in Jesus' name. Jesus be the same. 